enjoy getting all these additional reps because of what's been going on back there? Uh, I've enjoyed it, you know, taking advantage of my opportunities, uh, just uh, communicating the defense and uh, moving well with the one. So it's been good for me. Did you speak to, we asked Leslie about it today, about you know, this is your fourth year and it's got to be hard for you to have never really gotten that chance to play defense. How have you been able to, you know, kind of persevere and just kind of keep pushing forward? Uh, pretty much just doing my job, you know, every day playing my role. Uh, I've been a four-phase guy since my rookie year. That's what I've been doing. and. While I've been doing that, I've been learning the defense, uh, talking to the older guys, making sure that uh, when I do go out there, uh, we don't, I don't miss a beat. So that's basically what I've been doing for the last four years uh, and taking advantage of whatever opportunity I'm given. Frustrating enough for you? I mean, you, all your life you've been the guy, right? Uh, to come here and, and be the backup who can't get ahead of those, those two all pro, you know, pro bowl safeties. Right. Uh, not frustrating at all because uh, I know eventually I'm going to get my opportunity. And uh, when I do, I make the most of it every time. So. It's not frustrating. I feel like um, I'm absorbing everything like a sponge, and uh, whenever I get that chance, I'll be ready. How has being, um, you know, behind two all-pro safeties helped you mature a little bit more quickly? It's been great. You know, those those two guys are the best uh, in the league, I think. So uh, just learning off of them every day, how how their routines are, uh, how professional they are. Uh, I've taken that and put it in my regiment, and uh, I feel like when it's my time, I'll be ready. Uh, for sure. I mean, bringing in a guy like Vaughn, we'll be able to. Quarterbacks will have to speed up their process. So uh, anytime a quarterback do that, what we do on the back end, disguising, playing tight coverage, it'll be amazing for us. When you're out there, communication is a big part of your job on the field. So what has it been like to communicate with uh, the ones who are out there? Uh, it's been great. I mean, you know, those guys, they look for me uh, whenever we get motions uh, to make the checks and do things of that nature. Uh, I've been taking that challenge uh, full, full force uh, with my head high, so I think the guys that are responding well to me being back there, and uh, I don't think we're missing a beat. For, for years, it was always a strong safety and free safety. The NFL's really not like that anymore. Can you kind of speak to how, like, just safeties are safeties? You kind of have to do everything. You play center field in the box. How all that's evolved over the years? Right, I mean, definitely. Well, you know, Poe, he, he's always been, like, a uh, strong safety, considering, like, making the checks and being in the box of that nature. So when Poe's not here, that's where I'm at. But when Mike is out, I have to play both sides. So I mean, I have to know everything in the playbook, uh, which four years have gave me the ability to learn. So I think it's uh, beneficial for me. Yeah, of course. Everything is all about attitude, uh, patience. Uh, you can't really do anything, you know, but control your attitude, your effort. Whenever you get that opportunity to make the play, you make the most of it. But don't go out there forcing anything. Don't go out there forcing anything and uh, do your job. That's it. That's all they look for me to do is do my job. And if I do that, I'm fine. Oh yeah, Jimmy's uh, it's great. Uh, he knows the whole defense, uh, the safeties, the four younger safeties, me, myself, JT, uh, Demar, and Nick. Uh, we all meet with them early in the morning, go over the plays uh, that we didn't get to see from meetings. So I mean, I think Jimmy's doing a great job, and even Coach McDermott uh, chipping in whenever he sees something. So everything's going well. What sort of things have you been able to pick up from Jordan? Like, what do you mean? Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Those guys are real detailed uh, with their work. So I, I say that's the biggest thing, like being detail oriented, uh, not making uh, mistakes. When I have to make the check, I make the check. Being in my right spot, stuff like that. Seeing, seeing them do the little things, because when you do the little things, that's when you make the big things happen. I mean, you know, personal protector is uh, pretty much like the center of, a, of, of an offense. So I have to uh, make sure that everyone's uh, blocking the right man, uh, making sure I make the right checks to get the center to go the right way. And uh, if anything happens, I have to be able to uh, make adjustments on the fly. So I mean, pretty much I'm the last line of defense. Once they pass me, it's a block punt. So, uh, 
that's basically what that's, that's like. You go back to like last year opening game, Pittsburgh has the block punt. Did you see teams trying to do different things against you guys because of that, because of the response and seeing how you react? Definitely. Uh, we had a lot of teams uh, try the same rush that the Steelers did. Uh, wasn't successful uh, for, the, for the other teams. The Steelers, they got one on us. Uh, this year will be totally different. We're ready uh, putting those type of rushes in our practices, and uh, we're getting used to those already. Well, preseason games coming up here. What are you hoping to put on tape uh, in those preseason games for live reps? Uh, just doing my job. Uh, I'm not forcing anything. I want to go out there, have perfect communication. Uh, when the play is there to be made, I make the play. Uh, that's pretty much it. I, uh, Preseason games are going to be amazing for us.